All right, thanks, guys. Coming off a very solid 17-9 and nine day on Monday to kick this week off right here on our free YouTube lean. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, I'm sorry, what day is today? It's Wednesday already. Holy cow. Um, 17-9 and nine in our Tuesday MLB leans. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can improve today. A lot of early games here, so let's go ahead and dive into it. Beginning with the Mets taking on the Twins, 110 Eastern first pitch in Minnesota. The Twins are minus 170, totals 10 and a half. We did see a nickel move toward the Twins and movement upward on the total. The Twins open $1.65, open uh, up to 170, total open 10, up to 10 and a half. 67% are leaning toward Minnesota, 69% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Mets are plus 150 on the money line. The Twins are minus 105 on the run line. We have Vargas for the Mets, Perez for the Twins. Perez is 8-3 on the year thus far. Vargas on the other side for New York is coming into this game with a 4-2-3 ERA. Minnesota's first in the AL Central. They're 58-35 overall for the year. They're also 28-16 at home. Uh, very good covering the run line at home as well. 25-19 and 19 ATS at home. And of course, when I refer to the run line, I'm referring to the, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, when I refer to the spread, uh, I'm referring to the run line. Uh, Minnesota also second in scoring in Major League Baseball on average per game. Now the Mets on the other side, eight games under 500. Uh, they're also just 20 and 32 away from home. They've dropped six out of their last nine when traveling. They also rank second to last in hits allowed on average per game on the road. Now, total-wise, the Mets are 6-1 and one to the under in their last seven in Minnesota. Uh, the Twins are 5-0 and oh to the under in their last five. So with all that said and done, uh, I'm not going to lay the run and a half because I think uh, it's going to stay under. But anyway, give me Minnesota minus 170 and the under 10.5 in that game. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick timeout and welcome you to the show Got some lines of personal leans out for Wednesday's MLB action. But before we go ahead and get into that, just got to quickly uh, remind you to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page. We do daily plays on that site, and we're doing very well in several different categories. So feel free to check me out. Link for that site is in the description section below. That's patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, let's go ahead and slide into some more games. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got Pirates Cardinals, 115 St. Louis. The cards are minus 130, totals at 9. We saw a nickel fade of the cards and movement downward on the total. St. Louis open a $1.35 down to minus 130. Total open 9.5 down to 9 flat. 66% are leaning Cardinals, 67% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Pirates are plus 120 on the money line. The Cards are plus 145 on the run line. We have Chris Archer for the Pirates. Ponce de Leon for the Cardinals. Now, Archer for the Pirates is just 3-6 and six on the year with a 5-4-2 ERA. Pittsburgh is just 23-28 and 28 away from home this year. They also dropped 6 out of their last 7 when traveling. They rank 28th in walks allowed on average per game. Now, the Cards on the other side, winners in three out of their last four. They're 27-20 and 20 at home this year. They also rank second in home scoring on average per game. They're also third in home hits. Now, total-wise, the Cards are 30-17 and 17 to the under at home this year. Pittsburgh 4-1 to the under in their last five in St. Louis. Give me the Cardinals, minus 130, and the under nine runs in that game. Next matchup, Braves, Brewers, 210 Eastern first pitch in Milwaukee. Pretty much a coin flip in this one. Both teams minus 105, totals at 10. 53% of the consensus is leaning toward the Braves, 65% shaded toward the under. Right now, Atlanta's plus 150 on the run line. We have Dallas Keuchel for the Braves, Anderson for the Brewers. Anderson's uh, coming into this game with a 4-2-7 ERA. Meanwhile, Keuchel is 3-2 with a 3.09 ERA for the Braves. Milwaukee's dropped 8 out of their last 11 ball games. They're also just 23-27 against the spread at home. They are 26th in striking out and 21st in walks allowed. The Braves on the other side are 7th in scoring, 8th in hits. 
They rank first in the NL East. They are 30 and 19 away from home. Now, total wise, the Brewers are 6 and 2 to the over in their last eight. Give me the Braves minus 105 and the over 10 runs in that game. Next matchup, Reds, Cubs, 220 Eastern first pitch in Chicago. The Cubs are minus 130. No line on the total as of yet. Look for that to be released uh, probably around noontime. Typically, um, the totals are not released at, uh, in games at Wrigley Field uh, on time. Uh, typically, they are released uh, a couple hours before first pitch. So once again, no line on the total as of yet. We did see a nickel fade of the Cubbies in the early action. Once again, Chicago open $1.35 down to minus 130. No line on that total. 61% are leaning Cincinnati. And at the moment, the Reds are plus 120 on the money line. We have Sonny Gray for the Reds. You Darvish for the Cubs. Darvish is just 2-4 and four with a uh, 4.72 ERA. Sonny Gray on the other side comes into this game with a 3-3-3 ERA. The Cubs are 21st in striking out, um, 19th in home hits. They've dropped 7 out of their last 10, taking on Cincinnati. Now the Reds on their side of things are 30-17 uh, and 17 against the spread away from home. They're also 2nd and runs allowed on the road, 4th in striking batters out. So with all that said and done, I'm going to lean toward the road dog. Give me Cincinnati plus 1.5, getting the job done for some run line cash. Next matchup, Giants, Rockies, 310 Colorado. The Rockies are 175, totals 13. Nickel move toward Colorado and movement downward on the total. The Rockies open $1.70, up to minus 175. Total open 13 and a half, down to 13. 63% are on the Rockies, 53% are on the under. Right now, Sam Fran is plus 155 on the money line. Colorado's minus 105 on the run line. We have Anderson for the Giants, John Gray for the Rockies. Gray's 9 and 6 with a 3.83 ERA. Anderson on the other side comes into this game with a 4.47 ERA himself. Now Colorado's first in home scoring, first in home hits. The Giants on the other side, second to last in hits on average per game. They're also 17th in runs allowed on the road. The Giants are 3 games under 500. Just 46 and 49 overall for the year. Now, total wise, the Giants are 28 and 21 to the over on the road. Colorado 30 and 19 to the under. In I'm sorry, Colorado 30 and 19 to the over in the Mile High City. Give me the Rockies minus 175 and the over 13 in that game. Next matchup: Mariners, Athletics 337, Oakland. No line currently posted for this game. We have Eric Swanson for the Mariners. Homer Bailey making his first start for the Athletics. Swanson's just 1 of 5 with an 804 ERA for the Mariners. Oakland's 54 and 41 overall. That's going to put them at 13 games over 500. They're also 30 and 20 at home. Winners in 7 out of their last 8 ball games. The A's are 6th in runs allowed. The Mariners are 27th in striking out. They're also 20 games under 500. Just 39 and 59 overall for the year. They've also won just 20 out of 50 games away from home. Uh, no line currently posted for this game, but I think Oakland should win it. Give me Oakland winning this one outright for some money line cash. All right, next game. It's going to be Dodgers, Phillies. A wild ending last night. Bryce Harker, uh, Harper. Nice little walk-off uh, single or double. I forget which base he got to. But anyway, uh, nice comeback for the Phillies. Uh, Dodgers are minus 150 in this game. Totals 10 and a half. We did see a 10 cent fade of the Dodgers and movement upward on the total. LA open a dollar 60 down the minus 150. Total open 10 up to 10 and a half. 66% are leaning Dodgers, 73% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Phils are plus 140 on the money line. Dodgers plus 105 on the run line. We have Kenta Maeda for the Dodgers, Nick Pavetta for the Phils. Pavetta is just 4-4 four four with a 5.80 ERA. Maeda is 7-6 with a 3.82 ERA. The Phillies have won just 4 out of their last 10. Uh, they are also 21-28 against the spread at home. They rank 20th in hits, 21st in home hits allowed. The Dodgers on the other side are 1st in the NL West. Uh, they are 29 games over 500, 63 and 63-34 overall for the year. Winners in 3 out of their last 4. They're also first and walks allowed on the road. Now, total-wise, the Dodgers are 80% to the over in their last five. Phil's 6-3 to the over in their last nine. 
Give me the Dodgers minus 150 and the over 10 and a half in that game.